Uh, Mr. Dennis Saw, everybody. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Thank you, my friend. Oh, this is great to be back and to see everybody. And truthfully, magic and music are blood brothers. All my life, when I've played or seen other people play, the best memories are the smiles from the people. Even with the big bands, the best thing was looking out and seeing everybody dancing and smiling. So music and magic go together. And thank you so very, very much. And I'll, as you said, I'll be sharing a lot of tricks that are not printed in any of the books. <laughs> but they can be learned in seconds, not years. Really cool stuff. But anyhow, going back in time, this is, you mentioned it, um, it was 11 when we went to see The Greatest Show on Earth. Anybody remember that movie? Charles yeah. Heston, do you remember? Yeah. Well, the organ played for about 15 minutes before the show. And we were right up front, we were at five, five rows back. I could feel the bones of my body vibrate from the sound of those bass pedals. Yeah. You couldn't believe how that sound was. And I just fell in love with the organ. Now what had happened was uh, we decided to go, we, my father and mother, decided to go to an organ and piano store, the same place where they bought the piano. And it just so happens at that night, there was going to be an organ clock concert for the Hammond Organ Club. And the lady that was playing the organ her name was Mildred Alexander, and she was the first female organist at Radio City Musical. And the salesman said, oh, would you like to hear what that organ sounds like up close this afternoon? So we went back and played it. It was just great. So I love the organ, but you know, technology has just worked miracles. I mean, when you think about it, you push one button and you can have a whole big band accompany you. Push another button, you got a symphony. That was never even a dream back then. But I'm gonna to try to make dreams and memories come alive. Because when I play a program, and I play some of the songs that I loved in my life, I see that event all over again. I see the people and remember everything. So we're gonna be doing today almost eight decades of music. But I'm gonna start now with theater organ. Theater organ, <coughs> If you don't have a Lowry with all of the harmonies on it, it's hard. But we didn't even think of easy play organs back then. So you had to learn the chords, you had to learn the pedals and that. But for those of you, how many of you remember going to a theater and hearing a theater pipe organ? Yeah. All right, two thirds of the audience, okay. So I'll bring back a little bit memories. Probably you were kids with your family just like I was, you know, really cool memories. So, I've got the theater organ button pushed, and here we go! 